पाप विनाशक्त निनंदय स्वागत निनंदर सरंभानंदरी मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा इस समय हमारे साथ उपस्थित सभी दर्शकों और भक्तों को मैं प्रेम एवं आशीर्वाद सहित स्वागत करता हूँ एल एक्सपैंड ऑन how the kundalini awakening can help you to create a reality of your choice human beings are programmed only the right future they want to build they are not given the power to correct the past you are only empowered to build the future as you want you are not empowered to correct the past so the more and more brooding over the past means more and more suffering you are empowered only to build the future which has no connection with past which has nothing to do with past as long as you believe your past has capacity to influence your future you are in delusion human beings are hardwired to build the future as they want but they have no capacity all the struggling you are doing to correct the past will be failure you have no power to correct your past you only have the power to build your future more and more you think about the past more and more you are going to be in powerlessness hypnotized to believe your past as a influence over future no till this moment if somebody was a sinner next moment he can become saint till this moment if somebody can be saint next moment he can become a sinner that is the beauty of mahakala time your cognition about you and about the life depends on what you think as your time usually you think 100 years as your time so whatever is past you think as your time whatever is going to come you think as your time which is completely wrong neither your life is 100 years nor the time past is your time only the time going to come is your time the whole time is your time that's the first right cognition you need to have second whatever has passed is not your time it has no power over you it has no influence over you third only the future is your time your delusion that the time spent while you are in your body is your time is wrong it is not your time it was not your time it was perceived by you with your broken beaten abused cognition your cognition is not complete cognition till integrity and authenticity and responsibility 
and enriching becomes the basis of your cognition till then your cognition is nothing but confusion never you can develop your life as long as you think whatever has happened in the past and perceived by you as the past is yours no not owning which you can't own owning which you can own is life unfortunately you try to own which you can't own not own what you are supposed to own your future time you are supposed to own but you don't own you do not take responsibility for it you don't own it you don't take ownership for it you are past which you can't own you continue to own continuously because your mind teaches you known is right freedom from the known is the real freedom just because it is known don't think you can own you are supposed to own for your future you are the owner of your future you should take ownership for your future but 90% of your thoughts look in it is all about past when i see a person i can tell based on his eyes the expression of his eyes whether he is lost in the past or working toward looking towards the future the eyes which has no power means lost in the past which you are supposed to be a owner which you are supposed to be owning you don't take ownership your energy does not even flow towards it some things which you can't own you try to go on owning it owning it owning it your past you might have lived with her for 50 years she might have been your first and last love you would have had a most romantic life with her even then you cannot keep her dead body more than few hours with you this is exactly the way you behave with your past wake up just because she was your beloved you lived with her for years she was fulfilling all your dreams and you had a romantic relationship she was part of you and you had an amazing life love living together she was your first and last love don't forget the truth you cannot keep her dead body once she is dead she is dead you have to bury her body it is time you bury her body inner awakening is running health recoveries 100% cure for depression insomnia asthma fatigue chronic pain insecurity panic attacks and other major disorders awaken the kundalini shakti the dormant energy within what would you do if you had 1300% more energy disease free mind and body is your first wealth claim it at inner awakening inner awakening a 21 day meditation retreat with rare living incarnation paramahamsa nityananda may 8th to may 28th 2013 nityananda dhyana peeta nityananda nagar biridi bengaluru karnataka contact 0802 727 Double nine, double nine. Email i a at nityananda dot o r g. Hi, I am Jay Joshi. Uh, I'm in eighth. I'm going into eighth grade. I decided to come to Inner Awakening because my brother thought that this would be a great experience for him and my family. I um at first I didn't know if I should go because it was a really long time and I really wasn't into spirituality but now um as time went on I thought I would give it a shot in in awakening we learn a lot about yoga kriyas meditation 
Um, a lot of this stuff is based on your inner expansion, such as the awakening of your Kundalini. On the first day, while we were doing the Pratiksha Paduka Pujan, I was um, just doing the puja, and I noticed that some people were hopping. And on the first day, I was wondering what was happening, and I was a little bit scared. But later on, I figured out this was the immense power that you would awaken from, from awakening your kundalini. Throughout this 21 days, we learned how to do yoga and various other techniques called kriyas. These help us enhance our meditation and it help us expand on within ourselves. That way we can also expand spiritually. For inner awakening, um, it's mostly for adults, but um, I thought that I would um, try inner awakening because my brother and my father were in inner awakening. But if you think that you would want to go to more of a school-based program, it, Ingenious is also a good program for kids who are my age or a little bit younger. So this program is not only for adults or for children, it's for a variety of people. And I really think anyone who even hasn't gotten into spirituality should give it a shot. Thank you. Constantly you trying to brood over about your failures. When you try to brood over about your failures, you empower your failures. Already you have planned your future is going to be failure. One of the biggest delusion human beings suffer is the future comes out of past. I tell you, future comes out of past, not out of past. Future comes out of past, not out of past. That is why when you take sannyas, you just break from the past. If you are still brooding over your failures of the past, sannyas has not happened in you. The space of sannyas is yet to happen in you. Aap samajhte hai ki aap sab kuch jante hai kintu aapka mai sab kuch janta hu ya mano bhavana hi aapki asli agyanta hai aapka mai sab samajhta hu ya mano bhavana ko jab aap tyag denge तभी आप असली ज्ञान के मार्ग पर चलने लगेंगे इस क्षण तक यदि कोई पापी है अगले क्षण ही वो संत बन सकता है इस क्षण तक यदि कोई संत है अगले क्षण ही वो पापी बन सकता है आप अपनी अतीत पर अधिकार नहीं रख सकते हैं आपको अपनी भविष्य पर अधिकार रखना चाहिए यही मगा काल की सुंदरता है यू ट्राइंग टू ओन द पास्ट इज अब्यूजल टू महाकाल नॉट ओनिंग यूर फ्यूचर इज शटिंग यूर डोर फॉर महाकाल ओनिंग यूर फ्यूचर मीन्स रिसीविंग महाकाल Brooding over your past means living with your dead body, not looking at the life possibility. Decide you will not abuse Kala Bhairava anymore by brooding over the past. You will get ready. You will be welcoming, receiving Kala Bhairava with responsibility and ownership. Take the ownership for your future. If you take the ownership for your future, your eyes will be shining bright, expecting the future, ready to receive it, planning for it, taking ownership for it, owning it. Take ownership for your future. Let your mind think more about your future with responsibility. You are by nature hardwired to move towards your past the only mistake you do it is without responsibility you move just move with responsibility you are on the right track you are moving towards enlightenment because you moved in your future without responsibility you have failed with so many fantasies then your failures of fantasies occupying your inner space so much you are lost in the past 
and guilt of the past when you don't move with responsibility in future it is going to be the past filled with guilt wasted pages of your history rotten pages of your bio memory rotten pages of your biography your smile and laughter is taking ownership of future whenever your face has a smile and laughter your consciousness your cognition is moving towards future your best possibilities are yet to come is a reminder to you hold on to kalabairava's leg which is going forward people who hold on the past are trying to hold on the back leg of kalabairava hold on to his leg which is going forward he will bless you take you forward don't hold on to his leg which is back because he is not going to be stuck in the back like you the smile and the laughter in your face looks at the possibility and the future when you cognize time when you cognize life do not do the crime of holding on to the past and trying to own up for past if you try to own up for past you are trying to keep the dead body of your beloved sit and design your future and take responsibility for it when you own your past kala bhairava's compassion or sympathy will not be on you because you decide to pull him back he will only show the anger don't try to own your past plan your future with responsibility when you planned your future without responsibility with fantasy listen when you take responsibility it is no more fantasy when you don't take responsibility it is fantasy when you plan for your future without responsibility you leave the imprint of guilt in your past your past has no future don't waste your life with it the more you realize your past has no power over your future the more you are free when krishna murti says freedom from the known is ultimate freedom this is what he means freedom from your past is the ultimate freedom jab aap apne atit ka malik banne ki prayas karte hai aap kal chakra ko piche ki rahe hai jab aap apne bhavishya ka malik banai ka uttardayitva lete hai तब काल की दारा और आपके जीवन की दारा एक दोनों में एक अद्भुत तालमेल होगा इसीलिए अब आप बाइट कर निर्णय लीजिए कि आप अपने भविष्य का उत्तरदायित्व लेंगे वेन यू टेक रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टूवर्ड्स यूर फ्यूचर यू नेदर हैव फियर नार हैव ग्रीड when you take responsibility towards your future you live integrity authenticity responsibility your kundalini energy flows towards building your future your cognition is your kundalini energy if it is fully engaged in your past you are dead building the dead as future if you are responsible towards your future you will neither have fear to think about it nor have fantasy to drool about it this is the essence of today what i want to tell you ottada vannu kadivegolisi nimma nidrayannu uttama golisi bhaya mattu chintagalinda mukta golli ಸಂಬಂಧಗಳನ್ನು ಉತ್ತಮಗೊಳಿಸಿ ಉನ್ನತ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಟ್ಟವನ್ನು ನಿಮ್ಮದಾಗಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಯೋಗ 
ನಿಮ್ಮ ನಕಾರಾತ್ಮಕ ಮನೋವಿನ್ಯಾಸಗಳನ್ನು ತೊಡೆದು ಹಾಕಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಕೇಂದ್ರಗಳನ್ನು ಜಾಗೃತಗೊಳಿಸುವ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಶಿಬಿರ ಏಳು ಪರಿವರ್ತನಾಕಾರಕ ಧ್ಯಾನ ತಂತ್ರಗಳೊಂದಿಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಜೀವನವನ್ನು ಸಶಕ್ತಗೊಳಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಆನಂದ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಜನ್ಮಸಿದ್ಧ ಹಕ್ಕು ಅದನ್ನು ಮರಳಿ ಪಡೆಯಿರಿ ಸಂಪರ್ಕಿಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಪೀಠ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ನಗರ ಬಿಡದಿ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ದೂರವಾಣಿ ಸಂಖ್ಯೆ ಜೀರೋ ಏಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ಟು ಸೆವೆನ್ ಟು ಸೆವೆನ್ ಡಬಲ್ ನೈನ್ ಡಬಲ್ ನೈನ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಯು ನಾಟ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಯು ನಾಟ್ ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಇನ್ನರ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಬೈ ಬ್ರೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ let you enter responsibly into your future plan for your future taking responsibility your past as no future future as no past with integrity authenticity responsibility and enriching declare today declare now you will respect kala bhairava in future from this moment you will not abuse kala bhairava by brooding over the past which is not your property you will only responsibly plan for your future which is your possibility neither past nor future is yours future is your possibility so you have a right to think about it with responsibility future if you take the responsibility this is just possibility if not it is probability anything which is probability yes is not your property fear of past destroys your future learn this one lesson not to engage with your past not to be deluded with your past when you bring integrity you are purified from the dead body of your past when you bring authenticity in your thinking your whole energy is pushed towards future when you bring responsibility into your thinking your future is getting created when you enrich yourself and others the best possible future for you is happening every moment you brood over the past you are nearing towards death listen that is why the elders when they become aged when they know they don't have future they are so filled with past when they are so filled with their past they become useless to others and to themselves yesterday somebody gave me the news on international vip has died the moment they gave the news i asked still he, she is alive that's all i asked means what the last part of her life she was not active alive you sold to the society directly i tell you only one thing i will not want in my life people asking when i leave the body oh still he was alive as long as i am alive people should know i am alive means i am active alive kicking around and enriching people if you are not enriching people naturally when you die people will ask was he alive still was she alive still your departure should not be a sudden news it should be part of the daily news your departure should be the end of the daily news not sudden news means your retirement from the society and your departure should not have any gap and i tell you even after retiring from the body i am not going to retire from humanity that is my commitment with humanity even after departure i am not going to depart from humanity whatever it may take decide 
to build your cognition towards your future. Usually it takes 21 days to give a break for you and burn your dead body past and put you towards future. That is what I am doing in the inner awakening program. People ask me why 21 days? Because it takes 21 days for you to give a break from your past. Liberate you from your past. Burn your past because you are so tightly hugging. No, my beloved, don't take it away from me. My beloved, my beloved, my beloved, my beloved. Life, life, life. I lived with her for 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. You don't know where all we went together, what all we did together. How can you take it away? Somebody has to forcibly take your past away to liberate you and help you to take your future. Even if it is Sati and Shiva, you can't carry the dead body. Understand, even if it is Sati and Shiva, the dead body has to be burnt. Dead body has to be dropped. Your past has to be dropped. And you have to be pushed into the future. Only then, Parvati can happen. Meenakshi can happen. If you are carrying the dead body of Sati, possibility of Parvati is stopped. Manifestation of Meenakshi is deprived. Give farewell to Sati's body. Allow the possibility of Parvati manifest Meenakshi. From 13th April to 25th April, we will be having Minakshi Brahmotsava. This time, it will be very powerful and unique and extraordinary. The Satya we are going to experience this time, Minakshi Brahmotsava is manifest Minakshi. <laughs> Only thing I ask all of you to do today Take the vow now by raising your hand with integrity, authenticity, responsibility and enriching. I drop my past which is dead and decide to live my future with responsibility and enriching. Aaj ki satsang ka saransh hai आपने अतीत के बारे में सोचकर अपना जीवन व्यर्थ ना करें उत्तरदायित्व से अपने भविष्य की ओर चलिए तभी आप अपने मन चाहे वास्तविकता से अपने अपना जीवन का सृजन कर सकते हैं और तभी आपकी कुंडलिनी शक्ति चरम पर पहुंचेगी I wanted to announce that we are introducing free download of my book, the important book which I wrote as a sense of my teachings, Living Enlightenment. Please visit www.nityananda.org free book. Let you all achieve, experience, live, express, radiate, share, and explode in eternal bliss. Nityananda. Nityananda Dhyana Peetam, Nityananda Nagar, off Mysore Road, Bidadi, Bengaluru. Phone 080-2727-9999 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com slash Foundation